got it you got it you know what i'm saying I mean, hey if y'all trying to get those pistol kills that are like this like this coming back out hey and like this Stay tuned, because I got the hidden weapon class set up for y'all. The rolling special. Spin that intro. Man, what is up, everybody? I hope everybody's having a good weekend out there. Today, I'm about to show y'all what the rolling special or how to build the rolling special in Modern Warfare 2019. The stuff that we can build in this game, man, for me, to me, it's just parallel to no other Call of Duty, especially if you like guns. If you're a gun guy and you like guns, man, hey, hey, you can build some pretty cool guns in this game, and the Rolling Special is one of them. Now, it's an X16 class setup, which is the Glock in the game, so the rest of this video, I'm calling it the Glock, not the X16. I mean, it is the X16 in the game, but I'm going to call it the Glock in the game. Now, the Rolling Special was used, the setup was used for the Glock 19, which consisted of a compensator, a KKM compensator, KKM barrel, a Trichicon RMR red dot, and a Surefire X300 or whatever light. You know, some people use the uh, Streamlight TLR ones or whatever, stuff like that. So today we're gonna mimic the X300 on this build. Now the build that I'm using is the Silver Plume X16 blueprint in Call of Duty. Now this blueprint, um, I use it because it's, it's it's black, man. It's it's basically it's a black Glock, you know. I, I think Glocks just look good, you know. Black. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I like the OD green ones, and I like some of the some like the uh, you know the Gucci Glocks out there. But this one, man, I think this is the best video game Glock. Well, besides if you if you talk about the G18s in Modern Warfare One or Modern Warfare Two and Three, I mean the G18s is all, I always have a special place in my heart. But um, this particular Glock setup is just. It's so cool to me, man. This is one of the biggest reasons why I play the game because um, I like using realistic guns and guns that I have in video games, and the Glock is one of them. Um, now, this particular Glock, um, it has a Picatinny rail, a 1913 Picatinny rail. The only Glock that I know of that had a Picatinny rail was the RTF Glock uh, 21, I believe, and uh, it had a Picatinny rail. They, it's a, I think it was, a, it was on the Gen 3 platform, and they used to make it a while ago. I think they discontinued it. But yeah, because the normal Glocks have Glock rails. But, you know, um, yeah, man, let's go ahead and get, get into this build up. And I'm, I'm also show you guys pictures of the rolling special. So that way you guys can see I build this thing to a T. It's precise. It's precise and it looks good. I'm excited. Uh, we're going to use the muzzle brake, which is basically a compensator, but it's a muzzle brake in the game. So we're going to use it. And in the game is going to help you help a recoil st stabilization. So it's going to keep your recoil going vertical instead of horizontal, really. help It helps you spam that trigger really fast. And then with pistols in this game, you have to spam that trigger. Um, so let's go ahead and jump, jump that trigger real quick. Lightweight trigger, the fastest fire rate out of the three. And that's what we're going to use because we got to spam that trigger and play the angles if you want to get that. Uh, if you want to get these kills, these pistol kills, you got to do it. The laser, we're going to use the one milliwatt laser for hit fire accuracy. And this really helps in the game. The only reason I don't use these is because I like to mimic the X300. And also, when you play with a pistol in Call of Duty, you're also aiming down sights a lot. And so, you know, you, you don't want to give away your position too much with um, these lasers using a pistol. So we're going to use the uh, one milliwatt laser, which is an X300, a Surefire X300. Um, and now for ammunition... We are going to go with the 17 round mag because 13 is just not enough, man. It's just not enough. And uh, normally, and when I, I'm, I am going to show you guys like my, my setup that's just really nasty that I can get 30, 40 kills with, that I've gotten 40 kills with. And I'm going to show people that gameplay too. 
um, that I've gotten with. But um, for now, I'm going to just show you guys the rolling special, man. The rolling special. So we're going to uh, go with the optic because the rolling special uses the Trichicon RMR or really any, any. I mean, the concept is compensator, red dot, and a light. And that's the concept of a rolling special. And really, it's a Glock 19. So it's a 9 millimeter instead of a, a 45. And this one's a 45. So this is technically a Glock 21. And um, let's look at it, man. And I'm going to, you know, I got to put the compare and contrast pictures up here, too. You know, I will. And that just looks so cool in my opinion. I hope you are as excited as I am if you like guns the way I like guns. And. Now this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. This particular setup is kind of hard to get kills with because the recoil is kind of there. You know the recoil is there, so you could put all this stuff on your guns, and it can look cool, and you can do all that. But if you don't practice with these guns, it's still gonna be hard for you to get kills with it. And I made a video on that, and I'll show it to you guys. Uh, I'll put it somewhere on the screen up here where you guys can go to that, and you can see how I, how I became very proficient with the x16 in modern warfare 2019 and i have video after video of me just i mean just annihilating dudes with the glock in the game and i'm going to continue to post those videos because i find enjoyment in that now with this silver plume with this a uh, blueprint that this platform is sitting on right now it has the dismemberment rounds and when you shoot somebody in in, in you know basically they dismember or explode whatever you want to call it it is so satisfying and if you combine that with a throwing knife, it's even, man, I've been having so much fun using this setup for the past week. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. So um, now we're just gonna compare and contrast the recoil with the compensator and the recoil without the compensator. All right, now I know I called this the compensator, but in the game, you gotta remember it's called the muzzle break in the game. So let's go ahead and compare. Um, this is with the compensator with it with the compensator or the muzzle brake with it now I'm not controlling the recoil at all so all right here we go um again I'm not controlling the recoil this is without the compensator or the, the muzzle brake without it and I'm not controlling the recoil at all I mean it's not too much of a difference not too much of a difference all right now we're gonna do it we're gonna control the recoil all right we're gonna control the recoil all right it's not bad man not bad not bad again with the compensator all right now this is without the without the muzzle brake and we are going to control the recoil it's a wider group you know it's still harder to control it's still harder to control this is without the compensator and me controlling it with the, or no this actually this is going to be with me with the grip tape not controlling it we'll see what it does yeah that's without me controlling it all right now this is me controlling it with the grip tape with the rubber tape It's not bad, man. Not bad. Not bad. But these are some tight groups. Um, really, is personal preference and how you and you know and how you practice with it and how you use it. But hey, let's get into this gameplay, man. Let's get into this gameplay. This gameplay is nasty, man. I get some pretty good cool kills with it. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget to like the video, especially, man. If you've been around this long, if I kept your attention this long, hey. You gotta hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you've already watched one of my videos before. Subscribe if you're gonna watch more of my videos. Let's get into this gameplay. I'll catch y'all in the next video. All right, man, we in here a little bit late, but got that rolling special. It's a little bit long range map. So let's see how we do it without that recoil control pad or uh. We've lost Alpha. Got Bravo. Let's 
Oh, he's in here. Got a UAV on station, ready for flyover. UAV entering the AO. That ladder kill. Losing C. You're needed at Charlie. Be it by. I was stupid for challenging them with that, but I wanted to kill. Put my body out there for the subs, you know? I'm trying to get good footage. Get his homie coming across. Holding two, we have the advantage. Yep, I'm not gonna win that fight. Gotta reload. I knew my teammate was gonna have my back, man. I knew it. You know what I'm saying? I tr I have faith in the in the pump. In the public card system, you know? <laughs> Got faith in the public card system. Dude had me, man. <laughs> Come on, I want another ladder kill. Contact. Got your six. Kill him. Bro, when you got it, you got it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, We've got a UAV on station, ready for fly out. Reload. We need eyes. Send that recon. UAV entering the AO. Ouch! Did not. Your mags. Reload. I was hitting the freaking ladder, bro. I had that dude. Had him. Let's just go kill him. I'm tired of that guy. The UAV overhead. Pick a boo. Kimbo's. You gotta learn how to use one pistol first. Be finally got me. RTV for resupply. He finally got me. M4. Grenade barrel. Typical. Oh. Typical kind of guy, man. Hostiles at Charlie, go. Enemy, Enemy, Enemy holds two of them. Take them back. Yeah. Been saving that one up. Coming back out. Dude, the stuff I do sometimes, man. Securing Bravo. Come on, I know you here. We've got a UAV on station. Ready? We need recon. Oh, these dudes UAV quit. Everybody quit, man. Good job. I'll take it. 24. I mean, at least those dudes stay in the game. You know what I'm saying? Everybody just quits. But, hey, if you stayed this long in the video, man, don't forget to like. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already.
Hey, be low on the lookout for more of this hidden weapon series. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Let's get it.